Hello everyone, on today's video we're going to take a look at multiple file uploads inside the Livewire. Now I already have a video on single file uploads, if you haven't seen that I will have the link in the description, it's also on my uh, Livewire course playlist. So today we're going to be kind of expanding on that and also learn about multi file uploads. So uh, here I have a simple example and it's a single file upload project, okay, so I'm able to select a file, we are seeing an image preview and I can submit it and it will go ahead and save it. Now let me show you guys the code so we get a, an idea. So we have a simple uh, liveware component, it's a contact us for component. For file uploads, you always need to add this with file upload trait. I cover all of that on my single file upload video. And I have a simple uh, public property of image with a simple image validation rule. And again, uh, as you guys remember in that video, we are basically checking if the image is, exists and then we are storing it on our public uh, storage, okay? Under the images folder. Now let's check if the image was actually stored. Let's check. Yeah, as you can see, this is the image I just uploaded, right? It's one of my thumbnails. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually convert this into a multi-file upload, right? How can we do that? Well, first step is, guys, we need to go ahead and update our public property over here. So instead of image, I'm going to make it images. And then for the validation rule, we also need to update the validation rule, right? So what we can do is we can go ahead and convert that into an array. And similar to how you would actually define it in uh, Laravel, we can go ahead and say images.star. So this will apply a validation rule for all the images inside an array, right? So we're going to upload an array of images. So this will basically make it so this validation rule is applied to all the elements inside our images array. And then we can say, okay, uh, apply this validation rule on it, right? Which is basically we want to check if it's an image and then maybe give it a max file size, right? We can go ahead and define maybe specific file formats or dimensions, things like that. We're going to keep it super simple. So that's the process, right? And again, this can be anything. It could be files. It could be uploads. It's up to you. I'm going to name mine images, and then I'm also naming my public property images. So this is going to be our validation rule. Now I'll come back to this upload in a second. I'll comment it for now. So let's go ahead and move to our blade file first. So on our blade file, uh, if you guys see, this is actually the section for the file upload, right? I have a label, which is just saying file upload, and then this is the input itself, right? This is where we are actually performing the image upload. So first step is we need to update our wire model. So the variable name, the property name is now images. And then in order to allow multi-file uploads, you need to go ahead and add an attribute of a multi, multiple. And so this will make it so HTML allows you to do multiple file uploads, right? And that's all we have to do really on our uh, input right so just add wire model for your property and then also give it a multiple of course you can also if you're doing image uploads give it an accept define the image file formats you want to allow the user to upload last but not least we also need to update our errors so images so these are updated and so this one is supposed to be for the uh, preview in order to update our temporary url we're going to be actually using the images variable now, since we are doing multiple file uploads, we're actually going to have an array, right? So if you have an array, we can actually go ahead and loop through that. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, we can go ahead and use a for each loop, and I'm going to say images, and then image, right? And I'm going to move this inside our for each loop. So basically, we're going to loop through the images array, and for every single individual item inside it, which we know is an image, because we are doing the validation, also we are doing the accept here, to ensure it's an image we will go ahead and get its temporary URL. Now, this temporary URL only works for images, as far as I know, guys. Maybe PDF files, but if you're doing, I don't know, zip files or some uh, other random file format, this will probably give you an exception or it will just not work. Something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and test this out first. We'll then go ahead and handle the file upload itself. So I'm going to do a quick reload, open up here. Let's see if we can actually multiple select. We are, so I'm holding shift down so I can select multiple files. So let's first select a single file. We get the preview, let's select multiple files, let's say three. And again, we are getting all the image previews, just like this, guys. So very easy to add, expand on the image preview. Now let's go ahead and handle the file upload. So the same con same thing we did here with the for each loop, we can also do over here. So I can say, if this dot images, or maybe you can uh, do a loop here because this is supposed to be an array, right? So, but what I can do is I can basically do go ahead and say uh, for each, uh, this images so we're going to loop through our uh, images property and then for every single item inside it and i forgot the opening bracket for every single image that we have inside this loop we can go ahead and call this store method on it right now you can also do store as 
And the store as allows you to also define a file name, okay? So if you would like to give it a you know custom file name, you can pass it in as the property in the middle, okay? Or as the argument in the middle. You can also use named arguments if you like, but this is the way. So I'm going to go ahead and use as store because uh, it gives you a random name. I'm going to store it in our uh, images folder and then under public. So let's go ahead and test this out and see if things are working. I'm going to do a quick reload. Uh, let's pass in some fake data here. And before we do that, let's check our storage to make sure I'm going to actually delete everything so we know that the file upload is working. So I'm going to go ahead and select like three files. We get the preview and I'm going to click send message. And the send message button basically is running this submit form method here, guys. And we get a success here, so no error messages. Let's go ahead, check our images folder. And as you guys can see, we got three images, right? So the images were successfully uploaded. Now let's try another example. And that is, let's say we do an empty one. Let's see what happens then. And now we are getting basically an error. And the reason this is happening is because uh, we haven't made the images required. If it was required and you made sure that it's always an array, then it should work. But right now, because uh, we pass an empty one, it's going to be actually a null. So we need to make sure that uh, this image is actually exists. So we can do a simple if statement if you guys would like. Maybe we can say uh, is array this dot images, or we can make, just do a simple check that it actually is not null. But I'm just going to go ahead and some, add something like this. And let's format it again. Let's try again and see if it works now. And now basically if it's empty, we just ignore, we don't run this, right? And you can add more additional stuff if you like here. Now, alternatively, you could also uh, add extra rules here. So for example, uh, we can actually add multiple rules here if you guys would like. We can also say that actually images should always be required, right? So we can say uh, required, okay? So that the user isn't able to pass in an empty images here. So if I pass in here, it says images field is required. So uh, you're not limited to only one rule. You can add two rules on an object, one for all the single elements inside using the star uh, syntax. And then one, we can maybe do array. Maybe you can do is array, things like that. You can add any lot of validation rule you want. So let's go test it out again. Make sure this didn't break it. I'm going to select two files. It uploaded it successfully and I'm going to submit it. Works just fine. And I'm going to come back over here. And now we have five, five images just like this. All right. Super easy to do. Okay, guys. So that's it for uh, today's episode. I hope you learned something new. This is how you upload or you handle uh, multiple file uploads inside Livewire. The process is very similar to what we did with single file uploads. You just need to add an ex extra loop, loop through every items inside an array and then handle uh, the file uploads. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe so you get notified of my latest videos. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.